before we move on forward to the more advanced uh, targeting options, we really have to get organized and start using the Facebook audience manager. Um, and so, as you can see here, I've um, moved on from the previous example where we had three uh, single interest uh, and behavioral options. So we have Entrepreneur Magazine, Gary V, the influencer and Shopify, which is a software tool. So I have three single ones and then I have a few groups uh, of targeting options that I want to test. That would be a group of competitors, media, marketing tools, influencers, job titles, interests and fields of study, right? So those are all groups of things that I want to be able to test as called audiences. And uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, that 10 ad sets, sorry. Um, so there's a few ways uh, to save your audience uh, in the so-called audience manager, which you can access by clicking here to audiences. And if it's not here, you can always find it in the advertise section under audiences. And as it says, you can create custom audiences, look like audiences, saved audiences, and special ad audiences. Now, there is one big reason why you would create audiences within the ad sets and not here. So, and I'll show you why, because here you don't have access to the detailed targeting expansion. As you can see, I have, I can add demographics, interests and behaviors, but I cannot take advantage of the expansion. So that's why if I was to recreate what we did uh, previously, and let's say add Canada over here, right? Um, so this will be Canada competitors. Right, Canada competitors. And we leave all of these on, we say English. And where are we we at? Um, right. And so we want to add uh, the detailed targeting of Coursera. As an interest, Udemy. And you dusty. Those would be the three that we're going to use as an example. As you can see here, I have an audience of 500,000 people. Uh, and here that would we can also designate this as no expansion. And generally, when you create these called audiences, it's always a good idea to try the expansion. So maybe create one with expansion one without uh, just to test if your audience is, is big enough, like for example, 500,000 people is kind of a, a, a the, where you want to start from. So you need an audience of at least 200,000 people to start advertising on a cold audience. Cold audiences should really be broader, much broader than, than what people uh, generally have in their mind. And so we can create this saved audience, right? And so we have the this audience. But if I go back to ads manager, and I go back to my competitors ad set, what you can do is you can save an audience from over here as well. As you can see, we have our audience with our competitors. We also said here that they must also be interested in digital marketing. And this is something that we need to correct over here. So this is a good uh, way for us to show you how you can edit these audiences. Uh, just go back and, and edit, narrow the audience and say digital marketing. So we need these people to be also interested in digital marketing. But because that's very, very broad, uh, we don't know if that's going to be a good example. Um, so let's say that it is for now, see how it affects our audience, it turns it down to 120,000 people. But that's a good thing. Uh, and that and it is because there's a lot of people on Udemy who might be studying architecture or anything really, like from architecture to Italian to uh, to anything else, but not marketing. And so that's why we need those people to also be interested in marketing. And that's still a broad targeting anyway. Um, 
and so here we have the same situation, but we have uh, enabled the uh, detailed targeting expansion. And as you can see, this allows us to reach a lot more people by still providing this information over uh, to Facebook. And here I can click save this audience and say this is Canada. Canada competitors expanded and as you can see here detailed targeting expansion is on. I don't know why you can't really use the um, targeting expansion. We don't need the audience insights tool right now. Uh, I don't really know why you can't use the audience expansion within um, the audiences manager. It makes no sense to me, uh, but that's generally how you would go. So if you have, if you are very short on your monies, Maybe you can go with that one. Generally, we recommend for the code audiences to try the expansion because it does uh, provide some better results a lot of the time. Um, but let's say more than 50% more than of the time, it provides better results. So this audience, even though it's huge, will provide better results than this audience. Um, and now, there's another thing that we will discuss later in the advanced sections, which is audience overlap, because uh, now if I recreate all of these uh, audiences over here, uh, so let's say, for example, I go with the media now, um, I can um, save this audience and it will have kind of the same people. Right, we called it media. Uh, we didn't have, we don't have anything here. So let's just add to media. Uh, let's just go with Wired. Here's the Wired magazine and Entrepreneur. And Entrepreneur magazine, right? So just so we have somewhat of an accurate audience, uh, we can narrow this audience down to people who are also interested in social media marketing or maybe uh, digital marketing and uh, let's say right that narrows it down quite nicely and let's say that's what we want to do people who are interested in digital marketers as well um, or, well that's digital marketer the brand so this is not a good example but you know what I mean uh, we can add just let's social media marketing is pretty broad. So uh, that's something that we can uh, use to to do that. So this could be um, just some broad interest to make sure that these are not just all of the readers of these magazines, but the ones who are uh, also interested in marketing, or you could just skip that entirely. So here's the expansion. We can save this audience and call it and there it is over in our audiences manager. You, what you want to do is you always want to save your audiences like this so that you can reuse them in other ad sets uh, later on and so that you can keep track of their size and then just kind of have them uh, neatly organized here. You can generally create the audiences over here if you don't want to use the expansion, but if you, but if you do, you have to create them uh, through uh, Facebook uh, ad manager where you have uh, your ad sets and you can save them from the ad set. Uh, so that's not a problem. Generally, you want to have all of your audiences saved so that you can reuse them. That's what audience manager is for. And um, I just wanted you to be aware of it. You need to use it to organize your audiences. And within it, we are going to be creating the lookalike, the custom and the special audiences over here, uh, just so that um, we have everything neatly organized and we are going to start studying about those next.